Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can fix getting stuck in the welcome screen on Windows 11. So, as you can see guys, this is how the welcome screen looks like. So, first thing you need to do guys is just come down here and go to this icon and click on it and then you're gonna see uh, three options. So, the first option is uh, sleep mode and shut down and restart. Go, just go ahead and before you click on anything, just uh, hold your shift button on the keyboard and then click on restart. So once you restarted your PC, uh, it's gonna uh, look like this, as you can see guys. So just go ahead and then go to troubleshoot and then as you can see guys this is the troubleshoot menu just after that go ahead and click on advanced options once you're in advanced options it's gonna look like this you're gonna see a lot of options here such as startup repair startup settings command prompt uninstall updates system restore, system image recovery, just go ahead and choose startup settings and click on it. Once you click on startup settings, it's gonna basically look like this. Uh, basically startup settings, what it does is uh, enable low resolution video mode, enable debugging mode, enable boot login, enable safe mode, disable driver signature enforcement, disable Early launch anti-malware protection, disable automatic restart on system failure. Just go ahead on and click on the restart button. Once you click on the restart button, your PC is gonna restart and then uh, a menu like this will pop out. So as you can see guys, they say here, press a number to choose the form, the option below. So those are the options and to choose the option that you want, you need to use the F buttons. So you use from the F1 to F9. So what button you need to choose is the fifth option. And to trigger it, you need to press F5. Once you press F5, your PC is gonna restart into safe mode. So, uh, and then you're gonna be locked in in the safe mode. Once you're in the safe mode, just go ahead and then click on the start menu and then go to this button here and then just click on restart. And once your PC is restarted, your problem is gonna be fixed. So this is it guys for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.